Just imagine one day you're mourning your friend or loved one at their funeral. That's when all of a sudden they wake up. This may sound like something from fiction, but believe it or not, it's happened many times in real life before. From people everyone had thought had passed on, but they were wrong, to people who faked their own passing and funeral just to see who would turn up. Noella Rocundo. The story of Noella Rocundo made headlines around the world in 2016. She lives in Australia, but one day she had to return to her home of Burundi. This was to attend the funeral of her stepmother. What she didn't know, however, was her husband had arranged a hitman to take her out when she was there. When Noella arrived in Burundi, the hitmen grabbed her, but when they realized her own husband had ordered the hit, they gave her freedom. Noella then returned home. However, the hitmen told her husband that they completed the job. That's because they still wanted to get paid. So Noella's husband, believing that she'd been taken out, arranged her funeral. But he was stunned when Noella confronted him at her own funeral. Later on, her husband, Balenga, was sentenced to five years in prison. Noella then went on to start a new life with her eight children. It's crazy that this couple had been married for 10 years and then Balenga decided to do that. Thankfully, the hitmen were outraged, otherwise Noella would not have left Burundi alive. But just imagine the look on her husband's face when she shows up at her own funeral he planned. Matthew Wall This took place in the village of Browning, Hertfordshire, England. On the 2nd of October, the town came together for the funeral of local farmer Matthew Wall. But on the way to the funeral, one of the pallbearers dropped the coffin. That may sound like a bad thing, but it's actually a great thing that it happened. That's because the jolt was enough to wake up Matthew Wall. Matthew the farmer then went on to live for two more decades. And his coming back to life is a continued celebration for the village of Browning. It's not known if he was simply sleeping or in a coma, but his vital signs were checked many times and he was confirmed to not be alive. It's kind of scary hearing this. It makes you wonder how many people are buried alive. Gilberto Arruyo. Just imagine if your entire family thought you'd passed away, when in reality, you're alive and well. This is what happened to Gilberto Arruyo of Brazil. In 2012, he was confirmed to not be alive. This was after his brother identified his body at a local morgue. His family members and friends were all standing around his coffin mourning him. But that's when Gilberto turned up at the door. So what happened? Well, it turned out it was a case of mistaken identity. Gilberto Arruyo worked at a car washes in Alagoinhos, Brazil. At that same car wash, another car washer had been taken out. The other car washer looked a lot like Gilberto. And that's why Gilberto's brother mistook the car washer for him. I'm guessing the two brothers weren't that close. Or maybe the other car washer was hard to recognize from his injuries. Either way, his friends and family were shocked when Gilberto walked into his own funeral. But this must not have only been a shock for his family, but for him too. Just imagine being alive when your entire family thinks you're not. Nisiphorus Glycus Nisiphorus Glycus was a bishop working at a church in Lesbos, Greece. That's when one day he was found and declared to not be alive. In accordance with tradition, his body was left on display in the Methymni church. But after two nights of his body being on display, something scary happened. Nisiphorus sat up and demanded to know what was going on. It turned out he was alive and well. He said he'd simply been having a long nap. But others believe he may have fell into some kind of coma. Local medics had checked his vital signs and confirmed he was not living. As he was in this ancient church, some believed a miracle had occurred. While others thought perhaps it was a bizarre medical phenomenon. Mohammed Rehan One day, Mohammed Rehan of Damascus, Syria was at a local market. That was when there was a big airstrike nearby. The local market took the force of the blast. For whatever reason, he was reported as passing away. It was said he was buried under the rubble and sadly did not make it. But that was only half true. His friends and family organized his funeral. And a few days later with no body, this went ahead. But his friends and family were relieved when he turned up just as his funeral was coming to an end. Mohammed had been buried under the rubble for 36 hours. But eventually, without a rescue team, he was able to free himself. 
When he walked into the funeral, there was still debris stuck in his hair and beard. Just imagine if you were his loved one. It would have been an emotional roller coaster hearing he'd passed on and then finding out he was okay. Walter Williams on February 26th, 2014, Walter Williams of Mississippi was confirmed to not be alive. He was 78 years old at the time. All of the paperwork was completed and he was put into a body bag. He was then taken to a funeral home. But one day before his funeral, as he was being prepared, something strange happened. The coroner noticed him breathing very lightly. Then all of a sudden his legs began to move and it was clear that Walter was alive. He was taken to a hospital and it was confirmed he was in fact alive. But this respawn sadly did not last too long. That's because two weeks later he passed away for real. His nephew was quoted as saying, I think he's actually gone this time. Again, an emotional roller coaster hearing that a loved one passed on, they were alive, and then they pass on again. It may sound like fiction, but this really can happen. This is known as Lazarus Syndrome, which is where you pass on and then come back to life. Mohammed Furkan. In 2019, Mohammed Furkan's family were very sad. A grave had been dug and they were about to bury their loved one. That's when the incredible happened. All of a sudden, Mohammed, who was supposedly not alive, began to move. He had confirmed to not be alive by multiple doctors. But the 20-year-old was actually fine. He was rushed to a hospital and placed on a ventilator. The 20-year-old had been involved in a road incident. And apparently, his family were only told he was not alive when they stopped paying the hospital bills because they ran out of money. This prompted an investigation into the healthcare system of the state of Uttar Pradesh. His older brother said the family had been left traumatized by the roller coaster of emotions. And frankly, I can see why. Zhang Di Yang. Zhang Diyang was a 66-year-old man from China, but one day he had an idea to stage his own funeral. He arranged it himself simply to see how many people would show up. He was curious because he'd never been married and never had any children. In Chinese culture, the passed on are said to have needs. Their graves are supposed to be visited on a regular basis to ensure these needs are met. It turned out that 40 invitees turned up to Zhang's funeral, along with several hundred others. But incredibly, he still was not happy. 20 friends and relatives did not show up, and he was quoted as saying, I can't believe so many relatives and friends don't care about me. Frankly, I'd be pretty happy if over 100 people showed up to my funeral. Camille. One day, a 25-year-old Polish man had drank too much vodka. His friends called for an ambulance when he collapsed at a bar. He was then taken to a hospital and was confirmed to not be alive. But when he went to the morgue, it was found he was actually alive still. Rather than go home, the man named Camille went right back to the bar where his friends still were. And just like that, they picked up where they left off, drinking vodka. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Which was the most incredible story on this list? If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.